Hi guys, Mary here. I know it's been a while. Um, I've had kind of a difficult week with an illness and um, I finally had to go to the doctor. I had um, pain in all of my joints, my wrists, my shoulders, um, hips, knees, everything. So when it got to the point where I could no longer brush my hair or dress myself, I had to go to the doctor. And the doctor here is um, pretty certain that I have a mosquito-borne virus called chikungunya. And I am having blood work and I, I don't have the blood work back yet, um, but I'll let you know. I was hesitant to tell you about this because I didn't want to create fear in anyone coming to Calabra for the May retreat. Know that um, it's really my own fault. I became very complacent about using insect repellent. In fact, I haven't used it probably in four years. Um, some of my friends got this illness, um, this virus, about five years ago, but there are no known cases reported um, since then that I'm aware of. So, um, but it's good to report it, and there's no real treatment except for prednisone, which has really helped me, and bed rest. Um, the doctor said a week of bed rest, which lasted about a day. <laughs> and um, those of you who know me know that I don't rest very well. So anyway, um, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to ask a favor of all of you. And I'll give you some context first before I ask for the favor. So I have a friend here. Her name is Molly, and she owns a guest house called um, Casita Tropical. And um, she's my very dear friend, and I love her so much. And she posted in Facebook uh, about a week ago, um, and I wrote it down. Uh, I want to just read the post to you. She wrote, I wonder what would happen if every human being on the face of the earth at the same time prayed for world peace. And I know we all want that. And the response she received was varied. She got some negative comments, some positive comments. But I thought, why not do that? Why not try to do that as a community? And I know that um, although it's a small community of people, um, it's a very powerful community here on this channel. And I'm asking all of you to please share this um, date. The date that came to me, I was guided to, is July 16th. So I googled that date. I was curious as to why that date. And um, I see that it is a full moon. So, um, and also the number seven has always been prevalent in my life. Uh, every address I've ever lived at my entire life has always had the number seven in it. And I've always felt that that's my number. So um, when you look at seven and, uh, you know, it's the seventh month and also the 16th, if you add six to plus one, it's seven. So I think that's a very powerful number. It's a number of communication. It's a number that is a very uplifting energy, a very forward moving, uplifting energy. And I think it's a very powerful number. So if you could all join me on that day, um, July 16th, noon Atlantic Standard Time or whatever time that is for you on the planet to be in prayer for peace for the world. We need to come together from all walks of life, all religions, political affiliations. Um, we, we need to come together at this time. So I'm asking you to please share this on your social media your Facebook page, uh, with friends and family, um, however you, whatever social media you use, I'm asking that you share this. I'm also sharing this with other um, YouTube channels, um, podcast, podcasters, and I'll continue to reach out to as many as I can from now up until that date and I will send out reminders as well. So I thank you so much for sharing this with me, for helping me out. Um, can't do this alone, I need you guys, and um, I'm so grateful for all of you. 
So um, that being said, I'll do a little energy reading for us all before I go back to bed. <laughs> so I'll just do a few tarot cards and some oracle cards and angel cards. I haven't done the May uh, horoscopes yet. I'll see how I'm feeling in the next few days. I will try to get them out. Um, it may be like three a day or something until I can get them all out. So I apologize for that, but um, I do need a little rest. I want those um, who are coming to the retreat to know that um, I, will, I should be fine by May 9th, certainly. I'm on prednisone and bed rest, and the doctor says I should be fine for the retreat. So I'm really looking forward to it. I have lots of wonderful things planned for all of us, and it's going to be great. Okay, so the first card I pulled is the Nine of Wands. The second card is the Ace of Swords. And one last card, Spirit, please show us. Thank you so much. And we have the King of Cups. Okay. So the Nine of Wands is all about perseverance. You may be feeling battle-weary. I know that many of us are very feeling very weary, so much going on in the world. But um, try to persevere. Hang in there. We're almost there. We're getting there. <laughs> um, I have faith that we'll get to where we need to be. So hang in there. And I know those are just words, but um, please have faith. Please, um, I know there's a lot going on politically. There's a lot of violence in the world. But um, just do what you can for yourself, for your friends, for your family. Um, and we also got the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is, Aces are all about new beginnings. And sword energy is um, communication, intellect, truth. And I, I feel like this card came up for a reason. I think this is all about the, the day of prayer, the day of coming together in contemplation, meditation, and prayer for peace. So I think that's why we got this card. And then we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a mature card, and cup energy is emotions. So <clears throat> I feel like this card is telling us, um, you know, these are emotional times. Um, just try to go within, within your heart. Try to anchor into your heart. I've been doing a lot of grounding into the earth. And I've been trying to, let, to not let my emotions get away with me. Um, I can get very angry when I look at the media, what's going on in the world, especially with the racial inequality, with the white supremacy, with religious um, uh, what's the word with the non-tolerance I guess of each other's religious path so um, try to keep a lid on your emotions you can feel anger I feel anger but I don't let it get the best of me I, I sit with it and try to go within and see and try to understand what is triggering me and why I'm being triggered and what is it in myself that I can correct. So um, let me see, we'll pull some cards. This is Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors. I apologize, I'm feeling a little, um, <laughs> I'm a little dizzy. Okay, what can you tell us, Spirit, for today? Can you tell us for today, Sunday, April, is it the 28th? Thank you so much. Okay, we have the words seer. This is the seer card and it says see beyond the current situation. 
So I know it's hard to see beyond what's going on in the world, but if you can, try to see it from a higher perspective. A lot of change is coming. A lot of things are being purged so that they can be healed. So it may seem very chaotic. And um, disconcerting, but try to just see see it from a higher perspective. Know that the universe is working in our favor. I have faith, and I hope that you do as well. Okay, this is um, this is the deck from what's her name? It's daily guidance from the angels from Doreen Virtue. What can you show us for today, Heavenly Angels? Please show me. Thank you so much. Fresh air. <laughs> so, um, try to get out into nature. Nature is very healing. I've been spending a lot of time with my favorite tree, which may sound a little crazy, but I've been sitting next to this tree. I did get myself to the beach. I do. There was one day that I didn't get to go to the beach. I just couldn't move enough to get there. But um, I sit next to this palm tree and I just place my hands around the tree and I just try to, I ask the tree for healing and I try to just gather the energy and feel the tree's energy and just connect with the tree. That may sound a little strange to some of you, but um, it's what I do. And spirit is really guiding us to get out into nature and get grounded and feel the healing that nature brings us. Okay. This is Colette Baron Reed's Wisdom of the Oracle. Spirit, please show me any guidance for today. Thank you so much. Uh, Never-ending story. When I see this card, it reminds me that a lot of us feel that we are our story. So, a lot of us still have um, the story of our childhood or the story of tra traumatic events, um, the story of divorce or whatever it is for you. Just know that you are not your story, that you can change your story. Um, timelines are merging, and some timelines are collapsing. Um, try not to be in that victim mentality. Try to see yourself in a higher timeline. Imagine that higher timeline for yourself. Um, Spirit wants us to know that we are not our story. We can rise above that and create a new story for ourselves. Okay, I think I will choose one more card. This is from Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we have Archangel Uriel. Shine your light. As dark as it seems to be at times, you are the light. Anchor within your heart. Share your light with the world. And maybe that's something as small as smiling at someone that passes by, offering a helping hand to a neighbor or friend, making soup for someone who's not feeling so well, things of that nature. The card says, thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. So it's not a coincidence we got this card today um, because I'm asking you to help me with this day of prayer, July 16th, noon Atlantic Standard Time. Please share it with everyone that you know. Um, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for doing this. I know that we can come together there's plenty of time, it's not until July, so there's plenty of time to save the date and get the word out. It doesn't cost anything, and it doesn't hurt, right, to try. So I thank you so much.
I thank you so much for your subscribe. I mean, <laughs> for your um, your shares and your subscribes and all of that and your comments. All the words of um, guidance to me and all of your uh, words of help for me when I'm going through these physical symptoms. You all sent me lovely comments trying to help and I really appreciate it. Um, I love this community. I love each and every one of you. If you're new to this channel, I hope that you'll stay. And um, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to go back to bed. And I thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take care.